Hello, beautiful people. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Angie. Just give me a moment so we can start here with the class. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Palma. Hi, Francis. Yeah. Hello, yeah. everyone. Good evening. Nice to see you. I think we're going to start. Hello, hello. Let me put here. Hi, Pedrina. Hi, Leida. Emerson. Emerson. Ah, Emerson, Emerson, Emerson. Ya me había olvidado de Emerson. <laughs> Let's start here. We have just a few people. Okay. Let's wait for a couple of more people. Let's wait for two more so we can start. Okay? Esperemos por dos personas más para comenzar bien. Y vamos a dar dos minutitos. Okay, teacher. We don't have more people? Oh my God. Well, I think we're going to start. If we don't have more people, we're going to start right now, right, with the people we have. Let's start with the class. Today is class number 13, right? Ya llevamos 13 clases, chicos. Prácticamente. Ya vamos súper avanzados. En el nivel 1. Yeah. Don't you think it's a lot of information? No creen que que hemos visto un montón de cosas. Yo siento que es mucho. No falta. <ríe> Yo me siento desesperada porque no puedo pensar en inglés. Ah, no worry. No worry. That happens a lot. Eso pasa un montón. Así que no la... se preocupe. Uh -huh. Así que necesito pensar en inglés para poder. <ríe> That happens. Dice la teoría que cuando usted empiece a pensar en inglés, va a empezar a soñar en inglés también. Entonces, cuando sueña en inglés, ahí me avisa. Y es cierto, uno sueña en inglés. Sí, cuando no puede, uno no. Ya, ya, ya he soñado que no en inglés, pero que, que no, no puedo. puedo inglés. ¿Qué le pasa? Pero que quiero aprender y que un día me voy a hablar en inglés como la teacher Silvia. Of course. Mejor <ríe> todavía, ya ver. Primero Dios, teacher. <ríe> ok. Let me practice here. Yesterday we were working with uh, WH questions, ok? 
So let me ask you here, why do you use WH questions for? What do I want to ask Francis if I use the word what? If I use what? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? What? Do you want to want to? ¿Qué? No. ¿Qué? But what do I want to know? In English, what do I want to know? ¿Qué quiero saber? What do I want to know? Ayer les dije de cada una de cada una de las de las palabras tienen un propósito. For example, what is ask about things or situations. Right? Do you remember? No se traduce solo como qué. Francis, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Francis, listen. Yesterday we practiced that the word what we are going to use it to ask about things and situations. Okay? No dijimos que significaba qué. Dijimos que significaba o que se usaba para preguntar por cosas o situaciones, right? To ask about situations and things. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, Francis? Okay. Yes. Now tell me, Francis, why or when are you going to use the word why? Why? At what moment are you going to use why? Para qué va a utilizar why? Yeah. <clears throat> uh -huh. eh, preguntar por qué. No, tell me in English. Tell me in English. Usted ya tiene ahí en inglés, ¿para qué? Ayer se lo tiró en inglés. Tell me in English. Franco, wait a moment. Why? Tienen que ver mis apuntes. Yes, Francis. Yes, why? To ask about? That's for a reason. To ask for a reason. Very good. To ask for a reason. That's perfect. That's perfect, Francis. To ask okay. for a reason. Okay, very good. Now, when are we going to use uh, when, Asalia? When? Sorry, teacher. Uh, when, are we, no, no sé. when are we going to use when? <clears throat> ¿Para qué utilizamos when, Azalia? When? Just, yes. ¿Para cuándo? Y no. Mm -mm. No. In English. Yesterday, I gave you all the information in English. Ask about, yo le di a todos ayer el uso de cada una de las WH sí. questions. Okay, ah, tell okay. me in English. Ask about, ask about time. Ask Period about of time, of time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ask about time or a period of time. Very good, Asalia. Mr. Alfonso Palma, Mr. Alfonso Palma, tell me when are you going to use the word where? Where? Yes. As a book, please. Loca localization. Location. Location. Okay, place or locations. Very good. Very good. Angela. 
Who? Teacher. Who? Who ask for people? Ask for people. Very good. Ask for people. And now tell me why, Nelson? To ask for re a reason. Ask for a reason. Ricardo, how? 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 Ask about manners or process. Ask about manners or processes. Very good. Very good. Remember, right? We were working with this. This is the exercise we did yesterday, right? We are in video conferencia numero 13, right? How to use questions with what time? So today we're going to work with what time? Now, let me show you here my computer. So we can do a little bit more of exercises here. Right now, we're going to practice with all the questions, all the questions that we practiced yesterday, all the questions that we learned. And what we're doing, right? We have the questions. Remember the structure is WH word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement, right? Now, in this case, we are going to create a conversation a conversation, a role play, right? Where we are going to pretend that we don't know each other, right? So we can ask questions about ourselves. Ahorita ya muchos conocemos de qué trabajamos, qué hacemos, cómo nos, llam cómo nos llamamos, right? But we are going to pretend that we don't know anything about each other. No nos conocemos, right? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to create a conversation. For example, let's see here. Ricardo. Okay. What's your name? My name is Ricardo Alvarenga. Oh, Ricardo. Where do you work? I work in Distributora Salvadoreña. And what do you do? I'm a supervisor sales. Okay, what activities do you do every day? My activities is I make reports uh, to sales. I tell to clients about promotions to the products. Mm -hmm. Okay. I talk with my boss. Okay, and when did you start working? as a supervisor. When did you start working as a supervisor? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago, okay, very good. Now, this is what we're going to do. You will create a very small conversation, okay? Vamos a crear una pequeñita conversación entre dos personas right? We are going to ask questions with what? Teacher assistance. Okay. Escriba ahí, Nelson. ¿En qué le podemos ayudar? How can I help you with? Okay. Vamos a crear un role play, una conversación chiquita, right? Utilicemos por lo menos tres preguntas. At least three information questions that we can use. Right? If we use three information questions, right? Aparte, tres, tres preguntas aparte de what is your name, right? Necesito que pregunten con simple present. Okay? Is that clear? Se entiende que vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer una conversación, así como la que yo tuve con Ricardo, pequeñita, usando por lo menos. Tres, tres preguntas con WH in simple present, ¿verdad? Y no, está, no se toma en cuenta what is your name, porque what is your name is not simple present. O sea que aparte de esa, van a ser otras tres. 
por lo menos tres. Si pueden hacer más, mucho mejor. Now, we are going to start here to work in groups. ¿Se entiende lo que se va a hacer? Yes, no, only Ricardo. What about the others? Angie, very good. Is it clear? Okay, now let's start here. Oh, let me call the attendance. Give me a moment. Second. Let me call the attendance. Vamos a ver la asistencia que se vayan al grupo a trabajar. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia Janet Ramos de Hernández. Claudia Janet. Claudia. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Emerson Javier. Present. Ok. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francis. Franco Damián Vázquez. ¿Cómo era? Present, teacher. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Juan Josué. Leida Azucena Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Present. Nelson Brian Pereira Maradilla. Present, teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Gabriel Varenga Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Present teacher. Hi. Daniel Antonio García Cortés and Jose Alfonso Palma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Cla oh, Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. <laughs> Hi, present. <laughs> Very good. So we start here with the activity, right? Remember a small conversation. No vamos a hacer una conversación super larga, chiquitita, que las preguntas vayan con simple present, las practicamos y luego volvemos. Algo pequeñito, solo para recordarnos de luz, antes que entremos a la otra actividad. Let's start, let's make groups here. We're going to work in pairs. And let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Join your groups. Let's go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Choose your group. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, Emerson, explain to Claudia what is the activity about. Explique a Claudia qué se trata la actividad. Okay, eh, tenemos que crear una conversación utilizando al menos. Tres preguntas con el what, el why, el when, el where, el who y el how. Ok, very good. Like a small conversation. Very good, Emerson. Excellent. Eso, ¿Ya tienes? Ya. Very good. ¿Ya está bien? Eso es lo que dijimos. Perfecto. Ya. No me voy a quitar el trabajo, por favor. Ok. okay. Eh, <risa> eh, la, 
la pregunta del nombre prácticamente no va incluida dentro de esas primeras tres, ¿verdad? Esa no, porque esa va con el verbo to be. Ahorita vamos a, a practicar okay. las del simple present. No, 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 no. Ok. Let's start. Very good. Claudia, ¿alguna otra pregunta? No, dice. Ok, I see you in a moment. Okay. Bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> La construcción. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. El uso del. del uh, el question, adjective, del sujeto, verbo y, y complemento. Complemento. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces hagamos. Dijo que corta, ¿verdad? Así que. ¿Eh? What es. Eh, ¿Qué? O como dijo, enséñame la primera captura, porfa. Ask about things or situations. Situaciones. Bueno, situaciones. Exactly. Vamos a ocupar. Situaciones. Vamos a ocupar en situaciones. Uh -huh. Es ahorita, ¿verdad? Como, what do you work? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde, dónde trabajo? Where do you work? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. Uh -huh. Y aquí usted me responde o yo le respondo. Yo trabajo en El Salvador. Anótelo. <laughs> y work, usted dígame okay. dónde lo trabaja. I work at. I work at. at El Salvador. Ustedes van a ser los primeros que me van a ayudar. So, I see you. Prepárense porque dentro de cinco minutos ustedes van a participar. Ok. Bueno. Bueno. Ok. Ok. Ella me va a responder. I from. ¿Dónde ir? No sé dónde es que vive. I live in. I live in. I live in. Uh -huh. <laughs> I live in. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I live in Hikilisco. I live in Hikilisco. What is the question, Eneida? Where are you from? No. Where do you no. live? Ah, where do you live? Where do you live? Yeah. Okay. Porque yeah, si es, where, where are you from? I am from La Paz. I am from okay. San Salvador. Ok, ok, ok. Eh, bye. La siguiente pregunta sería... Eh, ¿Le puedo preguntar la nacionalidad ahí? Sí, ¿verdad? No, ok, me estaría diciendo. But you're using the verb to be, in it. You have to use simple sí, present. Bueno. What's your national? Esa está bien, la pregunta está bien, pero no estamos practicando el verbo to be. Estamos practicando ah, okay. el simple present. Entonces podría preguntarle cuántos años tiene. How, how are you? No, eso es verbo to be. Ah. Mire, mire acá, le voy a mostrar la pantalla de nuevo. Mire la estructura. Structure. WH word. Plus do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. That's what we're using. Okay. Ah, entonces sería, where do you work? Where do you work? Exactly. Okay. Entonces la siguiente pregunta sería, where do you work? Uh -huh. Jennifer. Where do you work, Jenny? For example, I work at Inglés Corporativo. Where do you work, Jenny? I work in Caja de Crédito San Agustín. Very good. Okay. Bye. Y de ahí sería...
how do you live which which who, okay, so like, who, no, uh -huh. no sé si dice pleasant who do you live which no sé si escribe doble cómo se no. pronuncia which pleasant who do you live with with ah uh, uh -huh. who do you who live, do you live with? with uh -huh. with okay with who do you live with Sí, creo que. Uh -huh. Sería la Jennifer. Jennifer, I live with. In my case, ask me the question, Elena. Ask me. Who do you who do you live with? I live mm -hmm. with my husband. I, I live with my husband. Vivo con mi esposo. Who do you live with, Jennifer? Jenny, Jenny, Uy. su micrófono. No me escucho. Jennifer, su micrófono. <laughs> Who do you yes, live with? Do Who do you live I with? Who do you live with? Uh, my parents. I live with my parents. Usted no repite la pregunta para responder. La pregunta de Neida se la hace a usted y usted responde. I live with my parents. Ok. Uh, I por ejemplo, Jennifer. Jennifer, por ejemplo, Eneida, who do uh -huh. you live with? I live with of my father and mother. Ok, I live with my father and my mother. Okay, okay. My, my mother. And my mother. Jennifer, who do you live with? I do you I <laughs> I will you live? No, es que no repita la pregunta, Jennifer. No repita la pregunta. Entonces, la pregunta es who do you live with? Esa es la pregunta. La respuesta es I live with my parents. I live with, se la voy a escribir acá. Veamos acá. I live with. Who do you live with? Respuesta, I live with. I live with my parents. I live with my mother. I live with my husband. I live with Jennifer, I live with Eneida, right? Si yo viviera con usted, dijera, ah, I live with Eneida. Okay, now, Jennifer, again, who do you live with? I live with uh, my father and my mother. Very good. You see? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Excellent job. Now, continue practicing. Okay. In two minutes, we're gonna go with the others, okay? Okay. Perfect. Ah, no. Did you finish, no yet? Yes. Uh, so, so. So, so. Okay, keep working, I will just listen. Me tocó, Iliana. Bye. Le voy a hacer las preguntas. ¿no? Bueno. Las mismas que estábamos practicando. ¿no? Ok. What, what, you, what you last name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? My last name is Alvarenga. Y, ajá. Yes. Eh, what you teléfono number? ¿Cuál es su teléfono? Repite again. Repeat. What, what your telephone number? What is your telephone number? Okay. What is your telephone number? Okay, okay my telephone number is 7844520090. Very good. Continue. What your NA Anderson? My email is Rick. Teacher, uh, how do you say Jumbajo in English? Underscore. 
underscore, underscore run 11 at hotmail.com. Okay. Now, yeah. make a pass. Those are questions only with the verb to be. You need to make questions with simple present. What is the structure of simple present, Ricardo? Uh, what do? Mm -hmm. And look at your questions. Your questions don't have do and does. Because you say, what is your telephone number? What is your email address? What is the verb to the, the verb do and does? Mm -hmm. uh, e ella puede preguntarme a mí utilizando el das porque, no. o sea no, oh, yo sé que utilizando eh, what does you no porque tiene que ser what do you sin embargo si ella quisiera preguntar sobre una tercera persona eh, what do you x eh, mm -hmm. ahí sí, ¿verdad? sí, ahí sí, por ejemplo si estamos hablando de Francis okay. oh, where does where does he work Where, Where does he work? Where does Francis work? Oh, okay. he works at Coca-Cola, for example. Right? No sé, invento mío, right? Then okay. you, can, you can do that, okay? Yes. Now, I think you haven't finished, right? Eh, tenemos, yo tengo las preguntas mías. Mm -hmm. las, y si quiere, no change, change. Eh, Chance, ajá, chance, ajá. Esa palabra existe. Chance es chance. Chance. Give me a chance. Ah, give me a chance. Para trabajar las questions con Ileana. Con Ileana, ok. Three minutes. Ok, nice. Three minutes, ok. Nice. Vaya, Ili. Si quiere, vamos como viendo que... que... Did you finish? Transport. Transport. Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes. yes. Okay. Can I listen to you? May I listen to your conversation? Uh, comienza. Hemos, comienza. Hecho, hemos, hecho, hemos hecho varias. Okay. Yo también. Uh, <risa> ¿Te preguntas? Eh, pre ¿Yo pregunto? Sí. What do you do work for a living? A living? What do you do work for a living? Social specialist. Okay, continue. I tendría que ser soy, teacher. Hmm? Special, special work. Okay. The question is, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? I am a teacher. What do you do for a living? Yes. I am a secretary. Yes. Yes. Okay, look at the chat. Okay, what do I you say, do? En la mía sería, I living? am... I, I am, am social specialist. I am a social specialist. Very good. I am a social I am. specialist. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Y la otra. What's the next question? La siguiente. What do you do every day? What do you do every day? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's correct. What do you do every day, Nancy? Hey, sería, I, I am trained no. fiel staff. No. I, aquí me va I, a decir las actividades. What do you do every day? Train, sería, train fiel, fiel staff. I train fiel staff, okay. What else? Ahí se lleva ahí. Okay. I train field staff. I, I train. Next. 
What is your boss and what is his name? He's, he is the manager. Um, his name is Marcos Cáceres. Okay, very good. Who is your boss? Who is your boss? And what is his name? Very good. Who is your boss? Now, remember that we're practicing with questions with simple present. Simple present. And your questions only do have do. What do you do for a living? And solamente what do you do every day? Ustedes solamente tienen dos con, con simple present. Además, las tienen con el verbo to be. Pero con eso nos vamos, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Ok, let's go. No, sí, díganlas, díganlas. Están bien, están buenas. Díganlas. Ustedes van a ser mi equipo número dos. Ok. Okay. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Now, we hello, are. Teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. We're going to listen to some conversations. Okay. Uh, it was a difficult, challenging, no, not difficult, challenging exercise. Un ejercicio muy desafiante. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Let's start with Miss Sorto and Mr. Palma. Your number one. Okay, teacher. Vamos a decir lo que tengamos. No importa si está bueno o está malo, ¿ok? okay. Voy a tratar en el chat de escribir lo que estamos haciendo. Ok. okay. Leida, what is your name? Hello, my name is Leida. Where do you work? I work at Inegea El Salvador. Uh, for the you in company? I am and three years old in the company. Where do you live? I am al I am live in a popa. Nice to meet you, Leida. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Okay, very good. Get them an applause. Very good, very good. Now, I have two comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first is pronunciation. What is your name? Repeat, Mr. Parma. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Very good. Franco, repeat with me. What is your name? What is your name? Very good. And Ada, repeat. What is your name? What is your name? Very good. Remember, don't forget the verb to be. What is your name? Your name. Right? Very good. Now, the second question is, how old are you? How old are you? Look at the chat. How? In the chat, I put the questions. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Very good. Francis, repeat. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Very good. Repeat. How old are you? No. <laughs> That's another question. Yeah, va. <laughs> How are you? Is <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Old you? Okay. How old are you? I am 35 old. years old. I am 35 years old. How old are you, I Ricardo? Thirty years old. I am thirty years old. Very good. Emerson, repeat the question. How old are you? How old are you? Okay, very good. How old are you, Emerson? I am. No sé. No sabe cuántos años tiene. 
No nos quiere ah, decir. Sorry. No, no, no puedo distraer. No Don't worry, no nos quiere decir. I have 24 years old. I am 24 years old. I am 24 years old. Repeat. I am 24 years old. Very good. Very good. Now, Leida and uh, Mr. Palma, they use the question, how old are you, to say cuántos años tienen en la compañía, right? Entonces, yeah. ahorita yo me escribí mm -hmm. porque estaba con una menor de edad en la clase. Three years old, no. Right? <laughs> We are going to ask a question. This question is more difficult, pero se la voy a mostrar. Está en presente perfecto. Todavía no la vamos a ver porque estamos mm -hmm. viendo el simple present. The question is, how long have you been in the company? How long have you been? You can ask me, Silvia, how long have you been in English Corporativo? I have been here one year. One year. How long have you been in, in your company, Franco Damián? I have been uh, six years. Six years, you see? It gives you more time, okay? Miren la diferencia. Una es la edad y el otro es el tenure que, es, que mm. tienen en una empresa, mm -hmm. okay? No se preocupen si no entienden la estructura de la pregunta número tres, porque ese es presente perfecto de avanzado, okay? No se preocupen, pero se las tenía que mostrar para que no nos confundamos. Let's continue with Eneida and Abidail. And then Asalia and Nancy. Okay? Eneida and Abidail, please start. Yes. Yes, va, inicio yo porque yo sé lo que inicio. Okay. Hi, good morning, Jennifer. Hi, good morning, Eneida. Okay. Okay. Where do you live, Jennifer? I live in Jiquilisco. Where do you work, Jennifer? I work in Caja de Crédito San Agustín. How do you live with Jennifer? I, li I live with my father and my mother. What kind of movies do you like, Jennifer? I will say that we lie over in drama. Eso sería todo. Okay. Hasta llegamos. Very good, very good. Who do you live with? Pronunciation, Aneida. Okay. Who? 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 Like this. Who? Who? Everyone Who? do this. Who? Who? Like you're doing, like, like you're doing a little kiss. Who? 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 Exactly. Like that. Who? Who? Who do you live with? Right. Who do you live with? Very good. Okay. And the other question that they ask, I like this question. Estoy poniendo todo en mayúscula porque para no estar escogiendo mayúsculas y minúsculas. Okay. What kind of movie movies do you like? What kind of movies do you like? I like I like horror movies. I like like romantic movies, romantic movies, like romantic movies and comedy movies, for example. This is new vocabulary, take notes. ¿Qué, qué, tipo, de, qué, qué tipo de películas le gustan? What kind of movies do you like? What kind of movies do you like, Nelson? Love story. Okay. Love stories. Ac okay. Action. Okay. Very good. Action movies. Very good. Action movies. Action movie. Okay. Very good. And let's listen to Nancy and Asalia. Okay. Iniciamos la primera. Yeah. Pregunta. Go ahead. Or all. Everything. What do you, okay. What do you do work for a living? As a social Nancy. specialist. Nancy. 
What do you do every day? I am trying trying to fill stuff. What is your boss and what is his name? He is the manager and his name is Marcos Cáceres. Where is your home? Stay in San Salvador. Yes, yes, yes. It's days in San Salvador. How do you get transport? He is transport in collective transport. Okay, finish. Okay, very good. Very good. Now let's pay attention to the questions. First, Asalia, change your question is, what do you do for a living? Repeat, Asalia, what do you do for a living? What do you do for, for a, a living? living? Very good, change it on your notebook. For what do you do living. for a living? Exactly. When you ask, what do you do for a living? I am a teacher. What do you do for a living? I am a secretary. What do you do for a living? I am an engineer. What do you do for a living? Jennifer? Jennifer? What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? I live in Ejecutiva de Crédito. Okay, I work, okay, as an executive or a financial executive. Financial executive. Okay. Angie, what do you do for a living? Um, I, uh, I am living in... No. What do you do for a living? Oh, pero un moment. ¿Qué hacen pero, para vivir, para comer? Ajá. Um, <ríe> I am, um, I work, um, ¿cómo digo? Trabajar. <ríe> I am work in Somerso. Ok, no. Let's Ajá. listen. One more time. Ajá. Ajá. One more time. I, I'm going to ask someone. Ok. Silvia. What do you do for a living? Oh, I am a teacher. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Asalia, what do you do for a living? I am, I am a supervisor. Engineer. Okay, I am okay, a supervisor. Okay. What do you do for a living, Angie? I am um purchase yes, encargada de compra, ¿verdad? Purchase purchase manager. Purchase. Purchase. Yes. Purchase manager, repeat. Purchase manager. Very good. Very good. Now, when you ask about other person, right, we're going to ask, who is your boss? Sylvia, who is your boss? My boss is Mr. Sainz. Who is your boss, Nelson? Who is your my, boss? My boss is Mr. Uh, Alberto Navarrete. Very good. What does he do? Oh, my boss is a manager. What does he do, Nelson? What does Mr. Navarrete do? My boss is... Uh, permita. Lo <laughs> Este, es el the Human Resource Manager. Okay, he's the Human Resources Manager. Very good. And where do you work is the last question. Where do you work? Where do you work, Emerson? I work in a construction company. I work in a construction company. Perfect job. 
Now, let me listen to the last to the last conversation. Do I have a volunteer for the last conversation? Volunteers? Hi, teacher. Okay, Nelson. Hi, teacher. Okay, who, who was with you, Nelson? Que um, eres compañero? O compañera? Eh, compañero. Mr. Okay. Francis. Mr. Uh, Francis, Fran okay. Y después yeah. va a ir Franco con su compañero o compañera. Okay, let's do it, quickly. Okay. Eh. ¿Dónde está el compañero? What's your name? Uh, my name is Francis. Okay. Uh, where do you work? I work in the Reflex Plus. Okay. Uh, uh, how old are you? I have three years. What do you work on uh, Reflex Plus? I work as a Thank you so much, Mr. Franco. Francis, perdón. Ok, very good. Very good. Now, ¿cuál es? Eso lo, lo, lo arreglamos. Recuérdense que cuando les esté explicando las respuestas, cómo se deben utilizar, anoten. ¿Cómo va a preguntar Nelson y Francis? ¿Cómo van a preguntar ustedes cuánto tiempo ha trabajado una persona en una compañía? What's the question that you're going to ask? Es que no le cuánto tiempo ha trabajado, sino que solo le da. Ah, y él dijo, I have three years old. Tiene tres años, Francis. Yes. Tiene tres años, Francis. Ah, pues no, salve, no, porque mentira. es menor de edad. Y yo no trabajo con menores de edad sin un permiso de los papás. Se me desconecta, ya, por favor. Y ya puedo hablar y todo. Ya puedo hablar con tres años, mira, que hasta inglés hablo. <risa> Francis. Ya te llaman el cel. <risa> Francis, how old are you? I am. I am. Tiene tres años, Francis. How old are you, Pedrina? Yo creo que quiso decir que tres años te trabajará en la, en la compañía. No, ellos dicen que no. Y eso les pregunté yo, ellos dicen oh. que no. No, nos preguntó. Oh. No. Ajá. How old are you, Francis? Francis Humberto Hernández. How old are you? Ya está Ricardo, está volviendo ya de bailarín porque usted no responde. I am three years work. Porque tiene tres años, Francis. Usted no tiene tres años. Mínimo 35. Perdón, es que Nelson me preguntó de trabajar ahí en la empresa. ¿O no, era, no, era... no, de edad. How are you? How are you? Ajá. Vaya, pongan atención, pongan atención otra vez. Cuando usted le va a preguntar la edad, es how old are you, ¿ok? Y sí. tenemos un problema. En español decimos yo tengo, ¿verdad? Yo tengo tantos años. Pero en inglés no vamos a decir I have, decimos I am, porque es un estado, it's a state. Okay, so decimos I am. We don't say I have, right? So how old are you? I am 35 years old. How old are you, Francis Humberto? How old are you? Le estoy preguntando su edad, Francis. I am. I am 51 years. Ah, hoy sí ya se puede quedar en la clase, ya no es menor de edad. I am 51 years old. Very good. Y ahora, si queremos preguntar cuántos años Francis ha trabajado en su compañía, decimos, how long have you been in the company? 
How long have you been in the company? Ya se las puse la pregunta ahí en el chat. Anoten ahí qué significa. How long have you been in the company, Claudia Janet? My teacher. How long have you been in the company? Uh, I, I three a teacher. Huh? Uh, no. How long have you been in the company? How long have you been in the company? How long have you been in the company? Ricardo. Pero, pero ¿cuál sería la respuesta, teacher? Los años. O sea, ¿cómo responde? Los años. Six years, five years, eight Años. Years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Very good. Ok, three years, Ricardo. Three years. Solo three years. Six. Porque no le he preguntado desde cuándo está One. ahí. Le he preguntado cuánto mm -hmm. tiempo tiene de estar ahí. One, six. Ok. Sixteen, oh, Melanie. 16. Um, sí. Perdón, yes. eh, ahí, eh, me confundí. La pregunta es, ¿cuánto, tiemp ¿cuánto tiempo tengo de estar en empresa? Exacto. Six. Okay. 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 Three years. Así es todo. No. Si usted utiliza ego, me está diciendo desde cuándo comenzó. Y si utiliza el I have. Ok. I have been in the company for three years. El go, Ricardo, solo lo va a usar en simple past. Y este es present perfect. Ok. Uh -huh. Anote, porque lo va a ver en el módulo 3. Ok. I have been. Ok. Now, let's move to questions with time. Ok. Vamos a ver cómo nos va con las preguntas with what time. Ok. Let's go ahead and practice a little bit. And I will explain this. I need you to pay attention carefully with the questions, okay? And I need you to, we're going to look at the conversation. Okay. We're going to practice here the question, what, what time? Primero le voy a enseñar la hora, okay? What time is it? ¿Cómo se dice la hora? Eso es lo que quiero saber ahora. Luego vemos el tiempo que nos da libre. Vamos a empezar con lo básico. The question is, what time is it? Okay? That's it. That's when we want to talk about the time. Okay, what time is it? And look at the clocks here. Look at the clocks. We have the clocks. Let me put it bigger. No sé si ustedes lo pueden ver. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So the first one here we have it's one o'clock. Okay, look at the clock. A estos relojitos le decimos clocks también. Okay, it's one o'clock o'clock. It's one o'clock. Here, right? So, a todos los relojes le decimos clocks. A los de la mano le decimos watches. Okay. Now, it's one o'clock. It's one o five. So, I'm going to put here the, the time here. It's one o'clock. So, it will be it's oops. Oh, mayúscula. It's one. It can be a.m. or p.m. Okay. It's one o'clock. We have one. Okay. Then we have is one o five. It's one o five or it's five after one. Then we have it's. One of five. Okay, it's one of five, or it's five 
after one, right? Then we have here. Tenemos, le estoy mostrando las dos opciones. Hay una, unas horas que tienen dos opciones para decirles. Okay? Now, we go with the next one. It's 1.15 or it's a quarter after one. It's 1.15 or it's a quarter after one. Okay? Oops. That's what we have. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. Here we have. It's 1.30. Right? Or it's half past one. Look at this. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, este Jennifer se desconectó porque ahorita tiene, tiene bien mal de salud a la abuela y ahorita se les acaba de poner bien mal. Oh, ok. I understand. Se ahorita. Ok. Ok. Ojalá que se recupere pronto. Ok. Y pueda regresar. Now, we have here, right, the different times. Let's go ahead and do. Uy, que me quito este. It's 1.05. Gracias, Claudia. Then we have it's 1.40. Okay. Or it's 20 to 2. Okay. It's 1.40 or it's 20 to 2. Okay, we have here, it's 1.40, right? Or it's 20 to 2. And then it's 1.45 or it's a quarter to 2. It's 1.45 or it's a quarter to 2. Now. This is the time that we have, right? This is how we can say the time in different ways. Miren bien. When we have this ones, tenemos dos formas de decirlo. Ustedes pueden solo aprenderse una, no hay ningún problema, right? Uh, what time is it? It's 1.05. What time is it? It's five after one. Right? La palabra after, aquí es como que dijéramos en la hora como a la inversa, ¿verdad? Como que a la inversa. Ah, ya son cinco pasadas la una, así decimos en español, algo así. He escuchado que los señores dicen, ah, son cinco pasadas la una. It's one o five, it's five after one. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende cómo vamos a trabajar la hora? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Please, please, please take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Okay. ¿Tomaron el screenshot? Yes, teacher. Este es un poquito más complicado. Yes. Por ejemplo, en el, en el que dice is 22 to. Entiendo. It's 20 to 2. Vamos a utilizar la palabra to después de la media hora. Eso es otro truco. Cuando estamos desde el minuto 1 hasta el minuto 30, vamos a utilizar la palabra after. ¿Okay? Y si es del minuto 31 al minuto 60 o al 59 prácticamente, utilizamos la palabra to. ¿Ok? So... If I say, for example, if I have this, this hour, look at, look at my screen. I will put it here. If I have, oh, que feo eso. If I have it, mm -hmm. it's 2.38. 
It's 2.38. ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo utilizando 2? Perdón, teacher, ¿verdad que eso es como que digamos un cuarto para las dos, cosas así? Sí, exacto. O veinte para las dos. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ajá, pasando, pasando de la media hora para allá, últimos veinticinco para la una, veinticinco para exactly. la dos. Exactly, exactly. And in English, we're going to use the word two. two. Mm -hmm. So, one time. It's two, three, eight. It's two, two three, eight. Three. Very good, Azalea. It's 2.38. That's one way. Esa es una forma. It's 2.38. Emerson. Utilicemos uh, la palabra 2, Emerson. It's 22 to 3. Mm -hmm. 22 to 3. Great. Very good. It's 22 to 3. Faltan 22 para las 3. Right? It's 22 to 3. Right? 22 a las 3. ¿Se entiende, Nelson? Aquí sí, nos tenemos que aprender la hora en español, como sea. <laughs> Los que no se pueden la hora, ahí al regalo. Right? If you know the, the, the time. No, es que yo tenía estudiantes que no se pueden la hora. If you know the time. In Spanish, the time in English is going to be easy. Pongamos atención a lo que dijo Francis. De la, me, la prim... Yes? Perdón, Ticho, sé que no está diciendo que compremos un reloj para aprendernos mejor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> For example, if I have the first half an hour, the first half an hour, I am going to use the word after. And if I have the second half an hour, la otra mitad del reloj, después del 30 para allá, Voy a utilizar la palabra to. ¿Ok? Now, let's practice. Le voy a poner aquí una mini práctica. Let's practice. Okay. I have... Uh, estos relojes están bien chiquititos. Okay, let me show you here my clocks. Aquí tenemos de todos, para que vean que todos los relojes es lo mismo. Right? Now, we have, look at the clocks. Look at this clock. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's 22 after 2. That's one option. Or it's 2.20. Right? What are the words that we're going to pay attention to? Right. After. Usamos after porque estamos en la, primera, en la primera media hora del reloj. Si estuviéramos en la segunda media hora del reloj, utilizáramos to. Entonces, vamos a ver los relojes acá. Right? We take a look at the clocks. We have six clocks. Y aquí tenemos uno de electrónico, uno de acá de de agujitas, el otro del celular, otro que es raro y otro de aquí de, de la radio. Right? We have different clocks. Todos nos van a decir lo mismo. What we're going to do right now is that individually, individually, not in groups, individually, you are going to try to write at least one way. Por lo menos una forma de cómo decir la hora. Para que a ustedes les salga más fácil. ¿Ok? So, please... What? <laughs> Not teacher. Okay. Now, let's see. It's... We are going to please take a screenshot of these clocks. Take a screenshot. It's two. Okay. Now that so... you have taken a screenshot, ya tomaron el screenshot? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. Now that you have taken the screenshot, pasen el screenshot a Iliana, porque no lo tomo, creo yo. Okay. Tómelo en la computadora, Iliana. Le sale más fácil. We are going to work individually. Individually. Lo vamos a hacer de forma individual. 
Vamos a hacerlo de la forma en que a ustedes les, parenga, les, les parezca más fácil, de la que ustedes entiendan más. ¿no? Si ustedes pueden las dos formas, quieren las prácticas las dos formas, háganlo. ¿Ok? But let's do it individually right now. Everyone is going to go to a break room and we're going to come back. Todos van a estar en un break room, pero solitos. ¿Ok? Solitos. So let's start. Okay, let's just start. We are 12 people here. Voy a ir con, voy a tratar de estar con cada uno para, si tienen, para ver si tienen preguntas. Todos vamos a trabajar de forma individual. Let's go. Please choose your group. Todos van a estar solitos, nadie va a estar con nadie. Let's just start. Choose your group, choose your group. Very good. Choose your groups. Pedrina, choose your group. Angie, choose your group. Hi, Pedrina. Do you have a question about how to say the time? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta de cómo decir la hora, Pedrina? Pedrina, no la escucho. Es que no copié el teacher. Le voy a poner aquí la pantalla. Please, take a screenshot. Ahora sí. Eh, sí, lo voy a copiar esto. Tómale la captura de pantalla. Sí, ya. Bye. Bye, ahora sí voy a empezar. Ok. ¿Tiene preguntas en cómo decir la hora o cómo lo usar? Eh, pues viendo el ejemplo, no, le, no, teacher. Bye. Entonces, si no te da preguntas. Y si no, ok. Y por lo menos haga una de cada uno. Ok. Yes. Al pipa judío. Si tiene alguna pregunta, me pide ahí ayuda. Ya regreso. Está bien. Bueno. Hi, Francis Humberto. Where are you? Hmm, where are you, Francis? Do you have questions? Tiene pregunta, Francis? Pues, solo era de agarrar un reloj y, y escribir la hora, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no solo uno, trate de hacerlas todos. Todos. Ah, todos. Okay. Trate de hacerlos todos. Okay. Y si puede hacerlo de dos formas, de las dos formas, hágalo. Ok. Ok. okay. okay. ¿Tiene okay. alguna pregunta cómo se dice? ¿No? Pues agarré la opción dos agarrado y eh, escrito it, ten, okay. seven. Ok. It, six, it's six, fifty. Ajá. It's six, fifty. Así está bien. Or it's okay. ten to seven. Mm -hmm. It's yes. 10 to 7. Very good. So, I will be with you in a moment. Okay? Hi. Do you have questions, Rosalia? Rosalia? Tiene preguntas? No la escucho. Está en mudo. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Azalia. Siento. ¿Qué preguntas? Fíjese que ahorita voy por la tercera. Por la tercera. Ok, dígame cuál la... es la tercera. Esa sería la 9 y 45. Ajá, 945. Esa puede ser mañana o noche. Yeah, it can be a.m. or p.m. Yeah. Ok. Ok, ¿y qué tiene? Cuénteme. It's nine. Four. Fourteen five. It's nine forty five. Ok. Or. ¿Cuál sería la otra opción? Cuénteme. Or, 
or or nine night sería ese night es, de noche o after no importa puede ser el, no es que no es el after no es porque sea de noche o sea de mañana no okay. el after es porque es en la primera mitad del reloj los primeros los primeros 30 minutos y el to se utiliza en, los, en la segunda parte de la hora, del, tren, del minuto 31 al minuto 59. Here's, entonces sería it's to... It's to... It's a quarter to... It's a quarter to... Nine. No, porque son las 9.45. ¿Cuál es la próxima hora después de las 9? 10. Ok, so it's a quarter to ten. To ten. ten. Mm -hmm. to ten. It's a quarter to ten. Ok, siga trabajando. Uh, Trate de poner aunque sea okay. las dos. Recuérdese, after y to no tienen que ver con que sea la mañana o sea la noche. Ok, ok. okay. Estaba confundida en eso. No, Gracias. don't worry, don't worry. Thank I you. will be back with you. Si necesita más ayuda, me escribe. Ok. Ok. Hi, Mr. Palma. Hi, Mr. Palma. Do you have a question? Te, está en modo mudo, Mr. Palma. I cannot listen to you. No tiene el micrófono apagado. Mr. Palma, me escucha. No me quiere hablar, Mr. Palma. ¿Me escucha? No. Sí, ahorita sí. Ok. Ya está en decir. Ok, ¿tiene alguna pregunta de cómo decirla ahora? Mm, sí. Ya está en decir. Ok, pero usted... ¿Tiene alguna duda? No, no. Ok, ok. okay. Todo bien, entonces. Vale, entonces Todo voy, bien. Con otra, voy con otra persona. Okay. <risa> thank okay. you. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Leida. Hello, Leida. Do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas, Leida? Está en modo mudo. Lo siento. Me ayuda con la 5, es que no distingo la imagen. Number 5, let me see. Es 3, las 3. 3, 15, ok. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ya, 3, 15. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Uy, ya leí la respuesta. <risa> <risa> Pero hay otras respuestas no, también. No, no distingo. Ay. Yo creo que les estoy haciendo bien. Any other questions? ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta, Leida? Pregúnteme. No. ¿Segura? Sí. Hmm. <risa> Dígame las respuestas que tiene. Vamos a ver. Eh, tengo el primero. It's 20 after 2. It's 20 after 2. Uh -huh. eh, la segunda, it's 56. It's 50, if 50 to 6, faltan 50 a las, a las 6. Mm. Ajá. ¿Cuánto falta para las, para, 
¿Cuál es la siguiente hora? What is the next hour? Las siete. Ajá. ¿Y cuántos minutos faltan para las siete? Diez. Uh -huh. Nos faltan cincuenta. <risa> it's it's ten, ten to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <risa> it's, it's ten to seven. Six, Perfect. It's ten to seven. Sí, sí, he estado repitiendo los números. <risa> it's good. Así sea yo, no me preocupe. Todavía hago así A, B, C, D. Así. <risa> one, two, three. Ten to seven. <risa> Y la tres, quiero ver el reloj, dice. Y la tres, it's 20 to 8. It's 20. It's 20. Creo Ajá. que también es igual que la anterior. It's 20 to 8. Mm -mm. Porque ya son las, ahí se ve que son las 9.45. Las 9.45. Ay, ay, las ocho estuvieron la manita más abajo de reloj. Las nueve son. De las nueve cuarenta y cinco. Entonces sería it's como la como la dos. It's. Uh -huh. It's. It's ten. Ten. Si son cuarenta y cinco, faltan diez. Oh, no, son quince. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say quince? Twenty-five. No, fifteen. 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 It's fifteen. Two. Ya me confundió, teacher. No, 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 no. Porque falta, son las 9.45. Vale. Digamos 9.45. It's 9. 9.45. 9.45. 45.45. It's 9.45. Ahora queremos hacerlo de otra forma, ¿verdad? Queremos ocupar two. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacerlo como la que hicimos anteriormente. ¿Cuál es la hora siguiente? What's the next hour? Diez. Diez. Ten. Diez. ¿Cómo se dice quince? Porque faltan quince. ¿Cómo se dice quince? Mm, voy a buscar mi... Eleven. Eleven. Fifteen. Fifteen, ajá, fifteen. Very good. Entonces, ¿cuánto, ¿cómo es? It's ten to fifteen. No, recuérdense, primero van los números, primero van los minutos. If it's fifteen to ten. To ten, very good. Porque si me dice it's ten to fifteen, me está diciendo que son las tres pm, porque está en hora militar usted. A las 15 horas. De hecho, mi trabajo son las si no nos permiten la hora. Ah, qué igual que en el mío. <risa> ok, vaya, sigue trabajando. Bueno, voy a, vamos a irnos ya porque son las 25 y vamos a ver qué hora tienen todos, ¿ok? Bueno, let's go. Gracias, ok. Did you finish? Did you finish? No? Yes, I finished. Yes, okay. Now, you are going to give me one option of the ones you wrote, okay? I would like to start with Franco, right? Okay. With, with I am going to show here the clocks one more time, right? And we have the clock number. One, right? Clock number one. What do you see in this clock? It is 20 after two. It is 20 after two. Okay, very good. Or. Mm -hmm. 
¿Tiene alguna otra opción? Solo esa. Is... It is 220. It is 220. Very good. It's 220. Very good. Or 220. Franco, give me the clock number two. And Eneida, get ready for your okay. answer in number two as well. Okay? Franco. Okay. It is 10 to 7. It is 10 to 7. Perfect, Franco. It is 10 to 7. Perfect job. And Ada, number two. ¿Qué tiene? Uh, tengo. It is 6.50. It is 6.50. It is 6.50. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It is 6.50. Very good. Okay. Ahí están las dos opciones. It is 6.50 or it is 10 to seven. Very good. Leida Azucena. Hi, Leida. Give me Hi. one option of number three. It's 15 to 10. To 10. It is 15 to 10. Very good. It is 15 to 10. Excellent job. It is 15 to 10. Ricardo, what do you have in number three? Excellent, Leida. I have two different. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. It's a quarter to nine. Okay, ah, usted lo vio la, la, la... Okay, digamos que son las 8.45. La Leida le puso 9.45. Usted le va a poner 8.45. Okay, good, good. No hay problema. Mm -hmm. okay, it's uh, 9.45. It is 9.45 or... Perdón, 8. 45. It's 845 or. ¿Cuál era la primera? Repítala para que eh, eh, It's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. Very good. It's a quarter to nine. 15 para las nueve. Very good. Number four. Help me. Number four. Pedrina. En Nelson, YouTube. Pedrina, number four. Pedrina. Pedrina. Enciende el micrófono. No está Pedrina. Ok, Nelson, sigue usted. Eh, Number four. Yo, eh, elegí la lava, así está. Ya, yeah, no importa. Eleven on five. It's eleven on five. Very good job. Azalia. What do you have in number four? Asalia? It's five past 11. It's five past 11. Excellent job. It's five past 11. That's another option. Very good. Now let's go with number five, Mr. Palma. It's 3.15. Mm -hmm. It's 3.15. 15. Very good. It's 3.15. Excellent job. Angie, number five. Um, it's for... Um, no, no están las cuatro. Son las tres y quince. It is three and four. ¿Cómo se dice quince en inglés, teacher? Ah, los números. ¿Ya los practicamos los números la vez pasada? Oh, ¿Cómo practicamos los números? 
Angela. Uh, um, ahí sí no sé, Picharo, no. <ríe> ¿No se recuerda de los números que practicamos? Sí uh -uh. ¿No se recuerda de los números, Angie? Uh, uh, 15. Wait, it's, it's three on fifteen. Así sería. It's, okay, si no me, apenas y puedo. It's three fifteen. Todos estamos en lo mismo ahorita. Todos apenas podemos. No se preocupe. It's <coughs> three fifteen. It's e. Así sería. Yes. Sí, porque no estoy segura todavía. Okay. Listen to me, Angela. It's three fifteen. Ok. Como dice Nelson, nos vamos a ir por lo más básico. Si no, no nos queremos complicar, nos vamos por lo más básico, ¿ok? Solo recuérdense, ya practicamos los números el lunes, creo yo, no me recuerdo qué día. Practicamos los números. Entonces, si tenemos una hora, it's 6.50, it's 2.20. Así lo vamos a decir. El número, okay. el, el número de la hora, ¿verdad? Más los menos. minutos, ¿ok? Dígame ahora el número 5, Ángela. Eh, it's, it's, que sería 4. No, es que no son las 4. El reloj no marca las 4. Espérenme, pero es que no, no, le, le, es la última, ¿verdad? La número 5. Ah, perdón, perdón, dicha. Ahí serían las... Las 3 y 15. Ok, ahora dígame uh -huh. en inglés. Is 3 fixing. Very good. Very good. Ok. Simple. Simple. Okay. No nos compliquemos. Si, si nos sale más fácil decir la forma más fácil, así digámoslo. Ok. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Francis, number 6. It's 4.30. Very good. It's 4.30. Very good. Oh. Oh, it's 30 after 4. Ok, it's 30 after 4. Very good. Esa ya es la forma más complicada. Muy bien. It's 30 after 4. Very good. Now, we will continue practicing. We have another exercise. And take a look at the time right now. What time is it right now? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's nine. It's thirty-four. Nine thirty-four. Very good. Nine thirty-four. La hora, los números. La hora y los minutos. Nine thirty-four. Right? Y dentro de un minuto, nine thirty-five. Nine thirty-six. Solo recordémonos de los números que practicamos. Okay? Okay. Now, let's continue. Vamos a seguir acá. And we are going to use, we know how to say our activities in English. Now we are going to say the activities that we do every day, but at the time that we do it. For example, listen to me. I, I, I wake up at 6 a.m. I wake up at 6 a.m. Okay. I... Drink a coffee. Well, yeah, I drink a coffee at 6.15 a.m. I take a shower at 6.30. I start my classes at 7 a.m. Okay. I finish my classes at 8 a.m. Okay. I have my breakfast at 8.15. I have my lunch. Yeah, I have my lunch at noon at 12 p.m. I have my lunch at noon. Remember that I told you? Dos al mediodía. Noon. Medianoche. 
midnight. Okay. Okay. Now I finish my work at 3 p.m. Okay. I finish my work at 3 p.m. I start my other job at 6 p.m. I finish the English classes on Wednesday at 11 p.m. I go to sleep at midnight, right? That's my schedule with the time, okay? No vamos a decir todo porque, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir unas cuantas actividades y la hora en que hacen esas actividades, right? I check my email at 7.45 a.m., for example, right? Si ustedes quieren practicar la hora, pueden inventarse la hora. No hay ningún problema. Vamos a, a mezclar acá nuestras actividades diarias más la hora. ¿Es that clear? Ok. Give me one activity. Nelson. Tell me one activity that you do. I go to work at uh, 6.45. Very good. I go to work at 6.35. Emerson, tell me one activity. I take a shower at 5 a.m. Okay. I take a shower at 5 a.m. Very good. Nancy, tell me one activity. Nancy Maria, not here. Okay, Franco, tell me one activity. Okay, uh, I have a meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay, I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Very good, very good. Now, I am going to show you right now a conversation that we can practice, okay? We can practice this conversation and we are going to add more information. This conversation is on your book, right? It's on your book, but you can take a, a screenshot. There's no problem. Now it says here, Ricardo, can you please read the instruction? Create. Create a conversation with two partners about their daily activities at work. Then ask questions information about some someone someone else uh, that is duties okay duties. duties is activities okay duties is the same as activities it's a synonym es un sinónimo de actividades duties actividades responsabilidades okay now we are going to work right now for this activity you will have exactly 10 minutes Okay, exactly 10 minutes. But do the activity, let's start with you. Pregúntense entre ustedes primero y después nos vamos a mover a la tercera persona del singular. Okay? Ya después podemos hablar de, ah, Emerson takes a shower at 5 a.m. Right? So va a ser después. Let's talk about each other. Now, we're going to work right now in pairs. It's going to be exactly 10 minutes and we come back. El, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Give me a moment. Okay, there we are. Please choose your group. Choose your group, and it's going to be. Let's go. Let's do our work. Let's do our work. Let's choose the groups. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Angie, choose your group. Yes, teacher. Azucena, choose your group. Mr. Palma, choose your group.
Palma, Azucena, choose your group. Francis, yo, después usted, Francis, yo, y así vamos construyendo cada vez, digamos, ¿Cada? que lo que vamos a hacer en el día. ¿Sí? Ok. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Uh -huh. De ley. ¿Qué es lo primero que hace? Yo. Pues, lo primero que hago en la mañana a las 8, hago cheques a las 8 okay. de la mañana. Entonces, de, de, quizás es I, 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 make, I make a check if I eh, night. Ah, no, no. Acting, ¿verdad? Eight. 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 Va, I la voy make, a copiar. Ajá. I make checks at eight. At eight. At eight, ¿verdad? Va, at eight. At, at, at eight. eight. At eight. At eight. Good. Eh, Ahora una usted. Ajá. Ay, Che. Cheque. Humberto. Eh. No se quede congelado la pantalla. Ya le caché el truco. Eh, lo primero sería, al nomás llegar al trabajo, es de encender la computadora. Okay, very good. That's an activity. So, I turn on the computer. Turn I on. Turn on the computer. computer. Turn on. I turn on the computer. I turn on computer. The computer. Very good. Uh, no, le falta la hora. Ah, I yes. On computing at in eight. I am eight. Okay. A.M. A.M. Ricardo. I wake up at uh, a five thirty. Okay. I wake up at five thirty. Very good, Pedrina. Continue. I night in the morning is cash registered. Quise okay. decir que a las nueve hago arqueo de caja. Vale, pero vamos a poner la hora. Sí se puede poner al inicio la hora, pero por el momento vamos a practicar en poner la hora al final. Ah, okay. vale, entonces sería at in the morning I do cash registered night. Ok, dígalo en español. O sea... A las nueve de la mañana yo efectúo arqueo de caja, hago arqueo de caja. ¿Qué es un arqueo de caja? Es como corte. contar. Llego a la caja registradora un corte. y digo, saco todo. Un corte. Ajá. Un corte de caja. Es el bookkeeper. Usted es un bookkeeper. ¿Qué era bookkeeper? Recordémonos. Es una de las actividades. Keep track. Of finances. Ah, 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 yeah. ¿Eh? Eso es lo que usted hace. Cuando usted hace un arqueo sí. de caja, está viendo que todo esté en orden. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces, usted keep track. Cuando alguien keep track, sí. ellos tienen... Ah, primer, cuando, por sí. ejemplo, mandamos a traer un paquete a los Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. We keep track. Entonces, we keep track. Ah, el paquete sale a las 7 de allá de Miami. A las 7.45 mm. viene en México. Mañana va a entrar a Guatemala. We keep track para que no se pierda. Keep track. Mm -hmm. keep I keep track. track of the money. I keep track of the money. Of money. Or the finances. At 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. Les queda un minuto y 50 segundos. Nos okay. vemos otro ratito. Nice. Otra. Hagamos otra. Va, dele, Francis. Dele, dele. 20 past 4. It's? It's, sí, it's 20 past 4. A las 4 y 20. 
20. At 20 past four. At 20, no, at is. At 20 past four. Okay. Emerson. Hola. What time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 11 o'clock. Okay. And later, mm -hmm. what time do you wake up? What time? Do you wake up? Oh, 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 oh. wake up. Uh, sería, uh, I wake up. He, I wake up. Okay. I, I wake up. up. At wake up is 10. Uh -huh. No, no, no. To no, no, no. Ah, okay. At, I got. Okay. Escuchen, escuchen, Eida. Franco. Bien, Eida, escuchen. Franco, at what time do you wake up? Franco. At what time do you wake up? Respóndame, Franco. Bien, Eida, escucha la respuesta. At what time do you wake up? I wake up at five o'clock. Very five good. Five okay. At what time do you wake up? Bien, Eida. At what time? Ten no. to ten. No, solo, re, solo responda. At what time do you wake up? I wake up at... I wake up at 10 to 10. 10 a las 10 se despierta que haga la... No, no. A las 10 y 10 ya... Pero bajo de eso, por favor. Pero baja de noche, quizás. Pero no, eso es lo... También con lo que... Si no, ah, no okay. sería... Ah, los ah. días de semana es... Ay, what... No, what? wake up. Wake up. Uh, ah. It is at 20. No diga it is. Cuando está ah, dando okay. la ah, What solo at y la hora. At, okay. At time, mm -hmm. 25 past. Fine. Okay, ahí sí, mire. Okay. Ya no da tanta pena. Vámonos, vámonos. El principal. El uh, principal, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, pictures. So. Let's listen to some of the activities, okay? Now, I am going to put an example of how you are going to create your sentence, okay? Look at my screen, right? I, I take a shower at 6.30 a.m. I take a shower at 6.30 a.m., right? That's one example, right? Así es como deben de formular su respuesta. Subject, okay. activity, the time. On the time. Subject, activity, time, okay? okay? Now let's start. I would like to listen, I would like to listen to Ricardo. Ricardo, who was your class? Who were who you working with? Uh, uh, working with me, uh, Francis and Ileana. Ileana Pedrina se salió, please. ¿Te cuenta? Okay, Francis and Ricardo. Okay, you start, Francis, and you continue. Okay. Pueden decir sus actividades solitos, no importa. Solo quiero saber si pueden formular esas oraciones corticas. Okay, you start. Ricardo, uh, yes. Primero Ricardo y luego Francis. Okay, I wake up at 5.30. Uh -huh. I drink coffee at half past six. Okay. Uh, it's over. Okay, two activities, very good. So practice, drink, drink. 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 Very good. Francis, your activities. Very good, Ricardo. Uh, your microphone. Francis, your microphone. Okay. Uh, I turn on computer at 8 a.m. Very good. Excellent. Another one? I, I check uh, emails at 8.30 a.m. Very good. I check emails at 8.30 a.m. 
Very good. Excellent job, Francis. Do you have another one? Tiene otra actividad, Francis? Only to learn. Yeah, okay. okay, very good, very good. Let's listen to Nelson. Nelson, who was in your group? Okay, um, yeah. I wake up at five o'clock. Okay. Um, uh, I take you. I take a shower. Uh, <laughs> I take you. I, no, I, I take it. I take a shower. Okay, I take a shower. I take a shower mm -hmm. at 5 13. Mm -hmm. um, I start to work at 7 o'clock. I pick I pick up the document and the, I distribute them. Okay, very good, excellent. You're using possessive <laughs> adjectives correctly. Very good. I, listen to Nelson. I pick up the documents and I distribute them. Right. Very good, Nelson. Very good. Who was with you? Quién estaba en su grupo? Eh, Angie. Um, y Leita creo, pero no estoy seguro porque hasta después le escuché hablar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go with Angie. Okay, Angie. teacher, I take shower at 5 p.m. Uh -huh. I make breakfast at 6 p.m. I give breakfast to my daughter and um, 6 40 a.m. I live in for my work at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. I have my cough or I drink my cough. Las dos formas son correctas, teacher. Yeah. I have. Tomo o bebo. I have my cough at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. And let's I... check let's check the pronunciation. Okay. It's a m. A m. A -M. Not e m. A m. A -M. Okay. A -M. I have my coffee. I have my lunch. I have my breakfast. It's correct, Andy. Okay. Very good. I dream coffee también, ¿verdad? O sea, yes. yo bebo o tomo. Okay. Yes, it's Thank correct. You, Very good. You're welcome. And the last one for tonight is going to be Emerson. Emerson, tell your activities. Okay. I I get up at 4 a.m. I take mm -hmm. a shower at 5 a.m. I take breakfast at... Say thirty a.m. Uh, I start my activities in the work at eight a.m. I I take a lunch at twelve thirty. I finish at seven p.m. Okay, very good, very good, Emerson. Now let's just check the pronunciation. The number it's 30. Porque si usted dice daddy, ahí lo puse en el chat, daddy, sex daddy es sucio. Right? Okay. Daddy es sucio. Usted quiere decir 30. Please say it. 30. 30. 30. Very good. 30. Or 30. Okay, pero no okay. Derry. Derry es sucio. A las seis sucio, dijo. Okay, entonces vamos a practicar ese número. 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay, I will call the attendance really quick before we finish. Vamos a parar acá un momentito ya la clase porque vamos a ver a las 11 con los que nos vamos a ver a las 11 y vamos a ver la asistencia. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. 
Present teacher. Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Present. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Azucena Sorto. Present. Hi, Leida. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidei López Escoto. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. And Jose Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present. Ya le pusieron Mejía, mire, no me he fijado. Ok, <laughs> so we are going to stop here, guys, right with the class. I will see you at 11, from uh, 10 to 11. A los que les corresponde estar, ya les enviaron ahí la lista en el chat. A los que les correspondería estar hoy, por allá los espero. Have a beautiful night. Ok, check the chat. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. <laughs> practice, practice the time. Practice the time. No les he dejado tareas para que hagan las tareas de la plataforma y se pongan al día, por favor. Ok, okay. see you guys. See you. 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 See